Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going into the assembly and install of the RCI bed rack for my 2023 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. I do have a tri-folding tonneau cover, but I did get the tonneau cover adapter brackets, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, I also got the awning adapter brackets so I can attach an awning to it and so i'll show you all of that but i also run the the expo traction boards and a lot of people that get the rci bed rack have to customize or go out and buy hardware in order to adapt this is the side panel for the rci rci bed rack as you can tell these bolts are too far apart all the mounting holes on the expo are spaced too far for it to directly bolt into this side panel well these little plastic brackets are included with the x-bowl and the mounting hardware so if you just mount it exactly like this so you have your handle or your knob then the plastic sleeve then a washer and then the bolt passes through you have one nut underneath that compresses the two boards together then place the bracket on one side you'll put the other washer and nut leave this side open that's going to allow you to mount it just like this this is how I'm gonna do it and then, and then you just simply tighten it down there it should be held plenty tight and we shouldn't have to worry about it with the bracket connecting the two together and then this one going through the metal side panel it should be plenty strong and sturdy but once we get this thing assembled and on the truck then we will know for sure i just figured i'd share that information with you guys just in case you're thinking about running the rci bed rack and you own the x-bowl traction boards that is an option instead of going out and trying to find other hardware or other ways to mount it so I'm just going to set you guys up and I'm basically just going to do a time lapse of assembling this thing. You got your two side panels. You have your three main bars. This is going to be the center bar that connects the legs on each side. It's a channel. And then you have two. These are going to be the ones that run from front to back up top. Those are going to be your support beams or your platform. So let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. I just got all of my pieces laid out, primary crossbars and sidebars and everything, and then you have your actual legs. These legs, each one or each pair of these will be connected with one of the C-channel ones, and uh, you'll lightly put all the bolts in and assemble this thing until you get it on the truck, then you can fully tighten it down. But I've also went ahead and dumped out the hardware bag and just sorted everything out so it's easy to reach or easy to find. Um, everything is going to be um, carriage bolts and they're all the same size so it's very simple. You're going to get six of these hex bolts. These, I believe from reading the instructions online, are for like the, the mounting brackets when dealing with uh, the Toyota Tacoma, I believe. So these, in my situation, will not be used because I do have the tonneau cover brackets, which I'll show you guys. I'm gonna install that tomorrow, but I can't, well, for you guys, it all happened in a matter of minutes, but for me, I have to install a bed slide in the bed of my truck first, because once this bed rack is on, I will not be able to lift my tonneau cover. But for work, I'm installing a bed slide, so everything that's in my bed can slide out. I shouldn't ever have to open my tonneau cover. Um, so that's not a big deal at all. We'll be using this kit from RCI in order to get everything installed properly.
So as you guys may have seen in the time lapse, all I did was slide the legs into the center C sections of each. I basically collapsed them as far as possible. It's a small bed. I haven't taken any measurements. I'll do that. I'll take measurements from the inside legs and figure out the distance that these will be. So when I go to drop it in the bed, it's fairly close. Uh, and then basically I just took the side panel and I started at the center to hold it up and I just passed a couple through here and then this side may get three. Um, I gotta look at the instructions, but I just have two on each just to get started. I still have the other side panel here, which will go on the other side. And then I basically just sat these up here so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like. And then with the tonneau cover mounts, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to understand what this is with it still in the packaging, but this is going to actually raise the bed rack three inches overall because it's lifting it up and out of the way from the seals on the tonneau cover. So should be an easy install. Uh, the only thing I'll really need is somebody to help me get this up in the bed. But like I said, not that you guys will have to worry about it, but I have other things that I need to do before installing this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this assembled loosely, not torquing down any of the fasteners yet. We'll get it all mocked up for install. Uh, very, very simple. I probably did all of this in five, ten, ten minutes max. It is very simple to assemble. I've gotten about as far as I want to right now with the bed rack. I'm going to temporarily install this tonneau cover mounting kit. So this will sit on the bed cap or the bed rails. And then this bolts together like this on each one. And then bed rack actually bolts to this and will sit on top of here it will look something similar to this except this bracket sits underneath of the tonneau cover rail here so we have to remove these clamps and slide these up under all I did was remove each one of these which allows you to move this rail basically just lifted it up enough to slide all of these mounts in and I don't have them measured out or anything like that I just have them slid in there roughly where it will go so all six mounts are installed and just so you guys are aware you can also bolt through here or through the front face of this bracket um, to the actual bed actually a lot of people don't because tonneau cover can clamp this on so these aren't going anywhere once the tonneau cover is clamped on but for extra security you can drill through and place a bolt there but make sure you do that before installing the other brackets because once those are on it covers up this location so you won't be able to drill straight down and obviously depending on the tonneau cover you have you won't be able to use that forward facing bolt hole so now all we do is you will be installing fasteners on both sides all across the bed rack here to lock it down to its width and everything but I'm not going to do that yet until I get the measurements and kind of uh, test fit it. Once I get that I'll be mounting it permanently on the legs to the brackets and then we'll come back through and tighten up all the fasteners once it's fully adjusted and square on the vehicle. So the mounting brackets for the tonneau cover does come with its own hardware as well. You have smaller washers, larger washers, larger lock washers, nuts, and bolts or carriage bolts. Then you have a smaller set as well with nylon locking nuts. These are going to be used for actually attaching these C brackets to the ones that we slid in on the truck. And then the larger ones are going to be for this hole right here. And that's what the bed rack is actually going to sit on and pass through so the larger ones will bolt the bed rack to these mounts and then the smaller ones are for these mounts to the brackets on the truck that we installed and then they also include six more for actually fastening these down through the bed rail if you decide to drill through and bolt it down so i took a rough measurement from the inside of this mount here the inside of that mount there 
and it's roughly 56 and a quarter. So I went ahead and just spaced this out a little bit to 56 and a quarter, moved it out basically, you know, three quarters of an inch on each side. And that gets us roughly to 56. So it should be close enough to get it on there. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw carriage bolts in here all along here to make sure that it's bolted together. I'm not gonna tighten them up, just finger tight. Uh, so if we have to do some slight adjustments once we get it up there, we can. So more specifically, once you get this adjusted to the width that you need, you adjust the width. The side pieces set the distance between the legs from front to rear. So you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about the width of your truck. And then you can place your bolts in. Each cross member is going to have eight fasteners. You're going to have two on this side, two on the opposing side, two here, and two here. So eight total for each section. And then just a washer, lock washer, and nut. Snug them up. Don't tighten them just in case you need to make some minor adjustments. So I have all of those carriage bolts in and just hand tightened. And then I just laid these on here. Um, you can run just one of them if you want. You can run it right down the middle here. Uh, but they do provide two, at least with the one that I ordered. And uh, it's very simple as well. Now that we have this thing squared up, I'm not gonna snug these down either because if you do, it'll kind of prevent, it may prevent uh, being able to make slight adjustments. So it's just simply installing one on each cross member. I think what I'm gonna do is actually take these C channels off bolt them to here so then when we lift it up on here we just set them on these brackets and then I put these two through and don't have to worry about fiddling around attaching the bed rack to this C clamp so I'm gonna go ahead and install these on the bed rack uh, so for mine at least I know they have a couple different sizes I'm not sure what the dimension differences are but the center of one leg to the center of another leg is 21 inches so I'm gonna go ahead and space these out 21 inches to kind of get my uh, spacing correct to make it a little bit easier when we drop this thing on. For the awning brackets, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to do this. Uh, even, you know, if you're not one that's gonna install it, I figured I'd at least include it in this video. We're not gonna be mounting the awning yet, but uh, we are going to go ahead and install the kit. So you're gonna get two pieces like this, two like this, and then you're going to get your mounting hardware. You're gonna have to remove the bolt from the top. And this is for the 12 inch. If you get the 18 inch bed rack, then the mounting is going to be slightly different. You're gonna have more mounting locations up here. Uh, you may not have to remove this one. You're gonna have a plastic spacer that's going to go here in order to keep the bracket flush with this panel. Drop that on like that. Make sure you put your spacer on there on the top one and throw that on the ground. And then you're going to obviously snug those up. Then you're going to have this channel here that's going to mount here and you can adjust it as far as height. And if you guys would like, during the assembly of all this, obviously not while you're leaving everything loose, but before finally tightening everything up, if you want, you can go back and you can put a small dab of blue Loctite. Even though these do have locking washers. If you're going to be doing a lot of off-roading, vibrations and stuff, it'd still be an extra precaution to just put a small dab of blue Loctite on your fasteners to make sure they don't back off. That's it as far as the install of the awning brackets. Obviously the height can be adjusted. So I messed up. I had my tripod set up, angled and everything to put this thing on, and I forgot to press record. I had my neighbor help me lift it up here. Uh, so, yeah, I did not get the footage of putting it up here, but it's obviously uh, pretty self explanatory. All we did was set it up there, and luckily I measured from the center of each one. They're 21 inches apart. So I put these brackets 21 inches apart from center to center, and uh, they all lined up perfectly. And then we just passed these fasteners through. It's just a washer and a lock nut on the back side. And then after I went around and tightened all of those up, I went through and snugged up everything. I just went and picked my son up from school. Seemed sturdy. I mean, it's not 
shakes the whole truck. Uh, it doesn't move whatsoever. But I am going to run through and check all of the fasteners again. And I'll probably do it again in two days. I'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling for work. So put some miles on it, get some vibrations through this thing and see how it uh, does. It should, you know, stay locked pretty nicely. These are all nylon locking nuts here. And then all the other fasteners use a lock washer. And if you want, you could put a little bit of blue Loctite on there as well. But keep in mind, this is also with the tonneau cover brackets installed. Otherwise, this part right here would sit down on your bed rail. So... I think it looks really nice. I did uh, get my Rotopax locks. So those are secure, nice and secure. And then I used my bike lock in order to secure the traction boards. Hopefully that does, but the next video will be installing the awning up here from OBS. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment down below but I think it turned out really nicely. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Make sure to smash that thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.